everyone. It is Akatrios here. And today I am a different kind of unlucky. Uh, this is the third time. This is the third recording for today. For the first video, mind you. Uh, the first time I died in one too. Because I was incredibly unlucky with what I got. And the second time I was medium lucky enough that my PC died. That was painful. Anyway, I have to try Lee and Joey today, even though my even though God himself may not want me to do it, but I want to go Lee and Joey. The reason for that is that Leon has generally become my main. Because I just like how she plays, uh, because she's a damage dealer that also mitigates damage from others. And Joey's just the best healer in the game. No debating, he is just the best healer in the game. His, uh, his numbers are the highest. And instead of, um... Instead of being like hers and have good numbers and deal damage to the he healed people, he actually gives them regeneration too. So, uh, he is just busted. Healing-wise, he's just busted. There's, there's no other way to say it. So yeah, let's just try this out for size. First up, let's kill this boy. Also, Joe is a character which we have not used yet in our runs. So, I can talk a little bit about what he can do, but not after I but not before I level my Leon. And we get preparation and repost. Not the best, uh, not the best skill for uh, this, but it has ignore taunt and crits when it's when it's parrying. So we take it. I would have preferred we get downward slash because that has ignore armor, and if you fight against the living armor, I will be in massive pain again. But that aside, we should be okay. Ish. Nice, one free soul stone, so we can get a draw skill before we even fight the first boss. <clears throat> I do approve of that. Alright, take this. One Hatchahu and one Statue. I think we kill the statue first. I did not fix preparation yet. Oh. There's a text. We dodge, this attacks, we hit. And then we just repose because it's funny to do it. Yeah. Well, this is incredibly funny. We get a free key. <clears throat> well, we level up Joey. And Joey is a very interesting character. Um, let me just get to skills first. This is incredibly good later. So, I, I do want to get Healing Ray, I think, because it has Chain Heal. But we take the, the Self-Destructing Drone now. Whenever Joey levels up, his passive gr grants us one potion. I'm gonna keep the Health Increase potion, because we might just get a character that wants more health than Leon does. Alright, what is this? This is an item scroll. What is this? Uh... An ID scroll. Debuff Enhanced Potion. We don't have anyone who CCs yet. But... Yeah, we have a potion if we do get one. And we want to draw a skill. And I take Hasty Counter. Finally a good fucking draw skill. Alright, let's fight. It is as every time I do this for Living Armor. I forgot to set preparation again, but... We should be okay. Uh, let's put this down. Use protect. Repose on him. He hits. He is stunned now. Get the preparation going. Get this going, get the healing drone going. He hits. A 
It's going around well if I do say so myself. Proposed hits. He tries to hit, he gets killed. Yeah. That was a strong. That was the first time I killed him that fast. Nice. We get some slippers, we get a golden skill book again, soul stone. Looking kind of neat. And a flash heal. Flash heal is great. It's a zero cost uh, swiftness heal that heals just as much as basic heal. So, yeah, I take that. I take it so hard I'll, I'll even fix it because, I mean, it's just it's just basic heal but, but with swiftness. Quite literally, it is the same. Also, it can crit less, but I don't care about, crit he uh, about healing crit crits. Going on, what is the character we get? I would love to see an Iron Heart here. And we do! I don't know if Joey is a different sort of busted. But let's see what we get here. We get no reprisal. Uh, not reprisal. We do, we do not get redemption. We do get biotic field, which is more healing. Actually, this apparently does not stop. So once we cast this, it's up forever. And we have double armor. The best skill here is literally Biotic Field, so I just take it. Two healing per turn doesn't sound like much, but, uh, but stacked with everything else. And Ironheart's uh, over barrier skill. This may just be very strong. Talking about very strong, I want to give him more health. Because he is now our main tank. Joey will get the slippers because, well, he doesn't want to get hit. And Ironheart gets a level up. We do want these kind of skills. Shockwave and Weapon Breaker. High energy emission would have also been great, but Weapon Breaker is his best skill, so I get that first. Increase morale. I take it. And an ID scroll. I take it. Yanon scroll. Not so much, but we take a key. Right, increase morale. Wait, that's not increase morale. Increase morale definitely goes on Joey. Doesn't matter who that goes on. Smite is a countdown to. This is just. This is technically another skill that could counter and draw a card. So I put this onto Leon. Because every countdown skill can counter for Leon. So this, this is quite decent for now. Uh, skill work. I want. Ironheart to get this. And we do get a skill for Joey because healing vapor is just a very is it's the strongest healing AoE skill in the game. It just is. No debating. And the health increase potion goes into Ironheart. This is health of four. Wow. No way I leveled him up in between a probably increased health by two or something. I don't know, I don't care. We're in an incredibly great spot. Alright, let me tell you something. This now deals 19 damage to everything, which is not quite enough, and I still did not fix prep. Look at this! Strong. Anyway, they all get to attack, which was kind of a misplay on my part because this is fire wave. It always is a fire wave. Alright, we get the repose, but I want to prep first. So this can fire wave, but dies before. This can tackle, almost dies before, but dies after. We get a heal here. That gets that. Get another turn. Healing vapor. And I think this is a rooting spell, and they die. Yeah, this... We're currently in a very good spot. This is probably a swiftness. Oh. Not the scroll I thought it would be. Alright, an unknown potion and a steel shield. We put the shield under him, and this goes to here. It's a healing potion. Very good. We put that here, we put that here. So this goes here, this is 
worthless. This is good for battle. Uh, we put that onto Leon. And we put that onto Joey. Joey's the character with the most uh, potential to do debuffs right now. Alright, this is awkward because we don't have a lifting scroll, but this should still be okay. Oh, it's just it's just a big head. And again, I forgot to do something very important. Anyway. Apparently they will not stop attacking her. The only character who does not have a barrier. Okay, Biotic Fields on Healing Ray. Biotic Field. Attack. He dodges. You heal yourself, get a small barrier for it. And Shockwave! Funny how we cannot kill! Actually, now we can. Unless he uh, he dodges everything we do, that would suck. Haha. <laughs> we just attack him again. All right. One of those is definitely a lifting scroll. I think it's this one. So I do this. This is a purification scroll, which gives us a golden apple. Yeah, that can happen if we use a purification scroll. Ah. Huh. We can sacrifice bread. Get some gold. A token of valor. This guy against 20% attack, so we put this onto Leon. Leon is our attacker, so this is the best choice we have. But yeah, in between episodes, I have been able to make Lucy's necklace better so we can revive twice in a run. Very helpful indeed. I'll take possibilities because possibilities basically is a random uh, another random assignment of three spells. It costs one, but it does have swiftness, so it's not the worst thing in the world. And let's level a little bit. Uh, he still needs one skill. He still needs one skill. He did not get a skill. Hmm. Only hits one enemy, but it ignores taunt. This can CC. I think, though, I will take healing ray. And another health increase potion. Iron R is gonna have a lot of HP. Frontline cover is based on HP, so in this case, where we stack HP a lot on Iron Heart. Frontline cover will currently make uh, create a 19 damage health, uh, health barrier. That's pretty strong. What else can we get? We still get a level up for Leon later. Or we get it now. Stunning Smite. Also, let's finally fix the preparation. So one thing I really want for him is to get Shield Bash, because Shield Bash is basically a single target shockwave with more damage. But we get that over time anyway. Alright, uh, this... Still only have 3 mana. Maybe my... Uh... Yeah, maybe I was... in My, my, my actions were incorrect. Alright.
That's a smite, that's a shockwave. Shockwave deals 10 damage to everyone. So my priorities were definitely off. I still need one more soul stone and I don't get it, of course. First aid was a one skill. Yeah, I don't need it. Can I defeat the upcoming boss with only one uh, with only three mana? Let's find out. It's a golem, so yes. Ish? No wait, 4 mana against Golem is kind of essential. Okay, but increased morale is one of the skills I have to use here. That gives me shield bash when we heal areas. It doesn't. Sad. Sag! It would have been great. Hmm. Zero cost healing rate sounds pretty based. Let's redraw this into a shockwave. How much damage does shockwave deal? 35. Eh. Let's get a frontline cover going. That, that way, uh, the earthquake will not even damage us. Okay. I am going to scrap the Stunning Smite. I have to use Shockwave here. Let's use this. Get Shield Retribution do drop down slash, but... Let's just use Relentless Wipe. That was a lot of damage. Why is it always the skills of a stun people that get the blue buff? Whatever. Uh, let's do this. Because this hits in like four times. Flash heal, basically protect onto you. Okay, Weapon Breaker, Healing Ray, a Shield Bash, I I will keep that for now. Post. Hmm, gotta use it all, eh? Nice, zero cost prep. Seventeen damage, and we get a dark silhouette, which at least deals seven damage to him, or five. Nice biotic field. Quite stupid not to use it. It taunts. It does taunt. Costs two. Okay, you get healed, and you also get a shield, and then you can heal yourself again. And that still was not enough to keep him alive. Oh, that got shuffled into the deck. And of course the, the blue thing is a stunned one again. Without fail! We might lose to the golem. And that makes me a little bit salty. Uh, actually, we might just stun him here. I hate you. Uh, 
Ah, the amount of stuns I ate were just too much. He really just up and kills two of my guys. Get Berserker's blood. This basically makes uh, Leon uh, independent. But I still have the problem of not being able to... I don't want to use my necklace to revive those two, so I'm gonna use a campfire for it. Which means I do have to eat both breads. I don't want to eat the golden apple. <laughs> Deadly serious. Alright, skills we still need. Include, but not limited to. First of all, I'll do this. Uh, shield Bash, more healing Vapor, and basically anything for her. Oh yeah, chemical uh, chemical weapon. Very, 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 very important skill. We did get chemical weapon, so we take it. We also got healing potion, which would have been better than any healing ray, but... Let's pass that on to Leon. She needs a more. So we can get rid of that basic attack. And let's forget one of the healing rays. What do we get here? Healing Vapor. Shield Bash. Take it. This goes on to Leon. Yeah, the Rose Badge is something I don't need. This makes Leon incredibly self-sufficient. We can also put it onto Ironheart, technically. We could put it onto Ironheart, and every time he shield bashes, he just heals for an, for an incredible amount of damage. Honestly, let's try that out. I want to see that. Alright, stage 3 1. How do we fare now? We don't have a single relic, which is kind of bad, but. Yeah, we are also low on money, which is also kind of bad. <coughs> but we should be able to manage somehow. A vitality scroll. And a lifting scroll. I was I was needing one of those for the upcoming first enemy boss. Fight. There are two of these here. One regular uh, enemy. An enchanting station. Alright. Let me enchant my token of valor. Healing power plus two is not what I want a token of valor. But I don't want to waste any more money. All right, we go with uh, we go this path first. My right, dark silhouette is our skill for the day. He'll just blow up a balloon, yeah. Nice. That was actually very good. <clears throat> Alright, that should deal a lot of damage to her. Yup. That wasn't that much damage, but that's okay. It's that enemy gone. Replace that, we get chemical weapon a little bit late. Oh, we get shield bash. Yep, 
this is this is okay. We're again in a case spot. For this, before we reach the boss, I want to reach uh, five mana. That's my priority right now. We don't need to get any other level three on our characters. We get a forge there, which is really good. All right, I do want the key. I do want this. Skill books are super important. I want it on to Iron Heart. Gets another shield bash. I take it. Now we can get rid of this. And this setup is exactly what I had on Iron Heart the last time. At least uh, attack wise. I think I didn't have a frontline cover, but I had two shield bashes, one shockwave, and one weapon breaker as attacks. And one uh, supportive thing. This is a damage oriented Iron Heart. And hopefully, this run will go long enough for us to see why. Alright, my most hated enemy is here. Okay. Killing Vapor really good here. And the only barrier we had is gone. Oh, uh, fuck. This is not very puggers. I could just run like cover, but... That's not just healing, bro. That, that went straight into nothing. And now we receive a buttload of damage because these horses are the incarnation of literal one-shots. We do have some good regen going on though, so that's not too bad. Okay. Abilities, dark silhouette, that's actually good. Dark silhouette was one of the best skills we could have gotten there. Alright. We get one more mana, which is what I wanted. And we get to forge here. And equipment plus golden apple usually equals something really good. So you take this and this and it turns into Berserker's Maze. I put this here. Because this is just more damage for her. I'm conflicted. I would kind of want to put Berserker's Blood back onto her. Because she just attacks more, so this is more healing. But he doesn't need attack, I believe. But he receives more healing with this, so that's still kind of good. More healing Iron Heart receives with better. We still cannot really afford an, a second key. We, do, we can't afford a lifting scroll, though, so I want to take that. No, I want, a VI, I want VID scroll more. That's just a barrier, huh? Barriers are good for me, but not what I want. We just drop the lucky amulet and we get it back. All right. Star Ring! That is actually a good equip for him. More healing power. How much healing power does he have? Do you have? 15. 20.4, you get 18 attack. Oh, this is affected by attack, okay. So 
So, there's not much left to do here. We already enchanted once. We don't have enough money for a key, so let's... We cannot really do much with just two things, but... Alright, this thing should die. Yup. So next time we get more shit, uh, healing vapor. This will die to that. And shield bash hits for 10. And the regen just keeps on stacking for us. Shockwave should kill. Yep. So that's how this strategy works. Basically we just create barriers through healing a lot and uh, capitalize on that. Get a potion of tough skin. That's actually pretty decent for us. Do we have a healing potion somewhere? I think we should have. Yes. Healing her, healing you. Now that we are on boss time. One important thing for me is that both of these survive a kaboom. What's this? Energy drink. The next skill cast will be cast twice. That is something to use in battle, for sure. Please don't be of a tank. I am so glad I'm prepared for the tank. And he dodged! Pog! Okay. Setup turn. Actually, this is good. You still have chemical weapon on for one stack, so I don't need to put it on you, so... Yeah. Let us redraw it. Increase morale. I did not need that. Frontline cover, more protection, you heal her. You attack to get the stack off. You did not get the stack off. Healing Vapor. Next turn, he will definitely kaboom again. We already know that. I don't know if Aaron, uh, if Iron R can survive that. We get a smite, which is great. He did in fact survive it. Hasty counter for next turn. This thing is... It's only attacking for a very low damage, but it's based on this thing dealing 40 damage every 3 turns. Then his weak attacks just faint someone. That is why this is so weak. Alright, starting smite. Biotic field. And we do the healing drone. We can also just repose instead.
Ah, okay, it, it used the first one we got, so repose comes now. Attack here, if it dies. This is the easiest time I ever had with a tank, not gonna lie. Dead. Wow. But this was very much based on the preparation. Did, if we not had the two uh, shield or the, the two barrier potions, we might have lost this. And if we fought Joker, we would have just hit it with a very strong shield bash from the start. So this was ideal either way. We will not use this yet. We'll wait until the next character. And I'm hoping for either a healer, a character that can technically heal, or actually an offensive character. Well, we did get the offensive character, for sure. Now the question is, do we want Azar, Trisha, uh, Silverstein or Hein? And considering that a lot of our, a lot of our attacks are uh, not that costly, a lot of things are not that costly. I think the wisest choice here is Azar. So we can just use uh, make the most use out of our uh, out of the amount of attacks we can do. We've already had Azar once, but I'll just say it again. His passive is Illusion Swords. The first skill in the in our hand will have an Illusion Sword buff every turn. When we use it or discard it, uh, we get an Illusion Sword, which is a zero cost skill that deals about six to nine damage, depending on Azar's attack. All right, uh, for now we only have bad skills. Now we have pretty good skills. And we still get more bad skills. That's kind of sad, we get Illusion Flash. In that case, let's put something more on him. We get Ascending Slice, that is great. We still do not have any Relic. Which is very much a problem. We get an Item Scroll, which is another small barrier generator. And we could get another card draw, which is what I wanted to do before we do another boss fight, but I forgot. Alright, 2-2. Two, two. This is one of the one of the areas that makes me sweat the most. Because I personally believe that the 2-2 two, two boss is harder than the 3-1 boss. Or, 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 or how you might call it is that the uh the stage four boss, because we are also this kind of as we just called stage four. It's harder than the stage 5 boss. That's my personal belief. We get another forge. Forge is not really what we want. This gives a maximum health too. So I want to keep this on him. We don't really have items that we want on Azar. And that is absolutely fine. Actually, what is this? Crit chance plus 2 and accuracy plus 15. It's better than nothing. Let's go to the shot. We need to pick a fight before we get it, but. So, goal number one is, as always, get more mana. This was just a setup turn. I don't think healing wave attacks the healing gate. It does. And we're in a very shitty spot. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Uh, illusion slash on to literally anyone. Him. She should die when she... Oh no, I don't have a buff anymore. Yikes. Nice. Uh, we're in a very precarious spot here. Yup.
A redraw this hasty counter seems good, but not good enough for us to draw something helpful. Prep. She'll probably just heal. I do not have a one cost uh, ability in my hand. Another one cost counter. Oh, she does attack. Hit that next turn. This should hit four times. Oh yeah, that has a debuff. But then there's still this. Alright, we got the more mana. And we want more draws. We get the regular... We, get, we have Pot of Greed here, because... Your skill is just not as good. Hmm, I definitely want this. I kind of want this. Nice, money. Not who I wanted to target, but I take my drop down slash. Alright. I don't have no keys. Curse enemy here, do I have lifting scrolls? I do not. I also do not have identifying scrolls. This is a weird spot I'm finding myself in. Oh yeah, sure, just stun them. Biotic Field will heal me. And give more damage to itself as drunk. Chain healing drone. Huh. I was about to say, can you not stop dodging? Alright, and a basic attack because we have it. Stick up a barrier going, that's fine. Every time. You know, fall for it every single time. Uh you get bonked, you get it twice, and then the smite! Okay. Another great thing about Azar is that he has many skills that ignore taunt. Okay, stunning smite. And prep. Please stun here. You didn't. You cannot counter again. Alright, shockwave. And then I can just attack. Nice. And we are almost fully healed again. We get a bad equip, but that's fine because there was not a forge on here, was there? There was. Finally, this is what I wanted. We keep the healing potion, of course. We don't need this at all. We can identify this. First aid is pretty bad. This I can use for something else. This is pretty bad. Last stand. Also another really good thing against the, the parade tank is last stand. You just give it to Leon. She get, she dies, gets full healed. Has less max, max HP. But Jesus, her she just deals fucking insane amount of damage. Alright, we do need the energy drink, we do need Barbie to win. We don't need this. 
We don't need two swiftness scrolls. We don't need heal. Contemplating deleting one of my breads. Yeah, why not? For another unknown potion. Alright, let's get to, back to here. Buy a key and identify one of the potions. Oh no, I don't want that. That's the literal worst potion in the game. That that potion has killed me so much. I don't want it. I don't want it. Bye. Nah, I don't like it. So now we could get we go could go for even more mana. Actually, we can't because we only have one battle. Or we can level one of our characters. And at this point in time, I just want to level up Zar. Game doesn't really want to give me good skills on him. Well, better than nothing. Oh yeah, we can go to the other. We get a blunt sword. Definitely not what we want. We get more health for him. Let's just give, let's just give him a healing potion. He now has 44 health. Which uh, translates into a 22 party barrier with protect with uh, frontline cover. Sadly, I cannot get there for the lifting scroll. Maybe I will get one here. Let's just go in and hope that we don't die. Okay, it's just it's just a robust. It's just a robust balloon. Just have to kill the balloons before they kill us. Alright. Hmm, this does not even have swiftness. This goes so bad. Nice. That way, if that dies, we all get stunned. I hope that that wing thing died, but it didn't. It can still make it die, and we are full health barriers. We lose our barriers now. That gets a, that thing gets a curse. Uh, I think I just discard smite. No, I just I just cut this. Smite can be used on this thing. Smite! Not discard that. We can use the sending slice on him. That thing definitely dies next turn. Another cursed enemy! Alright, that, that thing is dead. Alright. That gets one turn. This has swiftness, so why not use it? This does not have swiftness. This does have swiftness. Uh, prep. So that this thing dies? Or it doesn't? Healing vapor so that we, that we don't die? This is for one, this is for seven. Hit it for three. And that was just to make sure that he dies. Now we all get good healed. I can't shock wave here. Didn't hit that, eh? Just shield bash it. 
Yep. Going well, and we get a lot of money from this. And a key. The key is actually pretty pog. Because we need it right here. Token of execution! Based! But I need to identify it. Not based. Ah! Alright, let's try. This is actually something I want to identify. I don't like that. I don't like that side effect. Ah. Uh, as long as I cannot remove that. I need a lifting scroll for sure. Because this is a great item. This is an insanely good item. But without a lifting scroll, this is way too uh this is way too risky for me. Not being able to die is quite the risk. Alright, anyway, I want uh Azar still needs one specific skill, which is one of his strongest attacks, but we might just get it later anyway. So we take a free prep. Having another prep in deck, uh, additionally to my hand one, or additionally to my fixed one is always good. Let's see how well this party fares against the Time Eater. I'm so glad I didn't equip this. All right, we get two biotic fields. Hopefully it works like that. If it doesn't, then that was a waste. All right, we need Lian. Act. Then I need him to act. Then I need him to act. And then I need him to act. And then Lian connect again. It does not stack. Anyway, we get free heal per turn, so... Shockwave. I do want Healing Ray. Yeah, now our hand is pretty empty. That's it. That's sad, but I think Joey's dead. Yep. Ah, isn't it fun? Our healer died. Okay, this is going to be funny. To survive.
Okay, Azar can do an illusion sword. Then you can do a post. Draw. Oh, we can cast a free prep. Funny how the parry works. Okay, we need to get this off him on onto her. Which means that after everything I need to uh I need to use her skills first. That's quite easy. Uh, first we fast forward. Double attack him. Bandage him. We fucked up and Ironheart, Ironheart is going to take damage here. Actually, quite good for us, question mark? We just have to win this turn. Actually, we don't even have to win this turn. Alright, uh, Azar. Illusion Sword. Double attack, shield bash. Illusions of first scroll. And smite will instantly trigger, so this will stay on her. They drop down smash is better. Based. And we win! Quite handily, in fact. Since I have two charges on this, I can revive Joey right after the battle, which is really cool. Let's see, what do we get? Barricade, Double Armor, and Blade Starfall. All of this is not good. Let's try Blade Starfall. And let's put that on Azar. The toxic arrow. Was well, the, well, the chalice here? I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. We only got forges so far. Alright, let's see what this place does give us. Alright, we get Relentless White Reprisal. We get Storming Blade! Finally! Storming Blade is the best fixed ability for Azar. I think I've said that in the first time, uh, in the first video we did, we did. Basically, whenever we play a zero cost skill, it reduces its cost by one, so we can usually use it for zero cost itself, which is incredibly potent. Alright, so our goal for this stage, 
that is now coming. Get one more max mana, for sure, because we will need it now. Since we have uh, a lot of free cost skills. Honestly, I just want to get Illusion Flash. It's just bad. So, yeah. Get more mana for Blade Star Fall and uh, our other stuff. We are very mana hungry right now, but we should be fine. Um, and maybe level up Joey once more to get one more... Uh, Get one more skill on him. Our biggest downfall right now is not having a single relic. We can mend that later, but usually relics are incredibly strong, so not having one here is very detrimental to us. However, let's see what stage 5 has in store for us. And it starts with a cursed enemy, which I want to avoid. Like the plague, we get two free soul stones. We need nine for a mana. Up. <coughs> There's a boss right there. There's a Dorshi. Can't really do anything with that, so we keep it for now. I want a specific equipment, and anyway, I don't have it. All right, we get the assassin of the wanderer. I hate the wanderer, by the way. The wanderer is so strong. Alrighty. You do this. Then you do this, then you do this, we do this, we do this again. You attack her, she gets toxic. Why did you attack twice? Why do you have to, have to hurt me in that way? Okay, increase morale so I can get drop down slash. I've count down three. And drop no slash kills. Nice! And I D scroll. Huh. I need lifting scrolls very badly. The ID scroll helps me find out what the last stand does, but it's honestly not important enough for me. Right, we get our max mana increase, which is the last max mana increase we're going to get here. Let's heal us our a little bit. I can use the ID scroll on the potions. Why would I use this on an enemy? Alright. Ooh, those two, eh? Barrier is good. We put Stunning Smite onto him. Hasty counter. He attacks, but he gets countered. This looks good so far. Hmm. Okay, I do want something else. That's not it. 
Well, let's just shockwave here. He dies? Wait, okay, he doesn't. Regenerate? How could you? Okay, we need to kill these two rather quickly. Should not be a massive problem. Why must you hurt me in this way? Smite! Alright, we want this. That was a nice crit. And he did. Now, what does what am, what can I buy here? Skill book for sure. Get yeah, no lifting scroll. That is sad. Oh yeah, we can use the swiftness swiftness scroll, so we are a bit faster. Having speed is very important. Who needs it the most? I think a czar. Yeah. Second ascending slice. That way we can forget the. Yeah, one of the first scrolls, I think. We we only have one illusion salt calling, and that really hurts us. My Azar setup is okay, but not good. What is this? Lifting. Since when do I have one lifting scroll? Okay. That is better than this. And since I can, I can put this here. I know what it does. It lifts it lifts both curses, so this was just This was just min-maxing here. But yeah. Now we have a token of execution. That's really good. We also have one free key. Okay. We have one lifting scroll left of a cursed enemy, that's good. One level up Joey once more, I think. But then I only have four left, and I also want to level up her. Get hopefully an AoE counter. Right now, one of my main concerns is setting up for the final boss. Okay, you are the cursed enemy, that's not nice. Okay, the buff was on him. <coughs> I was a little scared for a second there. Alright, healing vapor. Everything going according to Keikaku. He attacks first, nice. Doesn't matter because I suck. Anyway, that just crit. We only have one bread, and I honestly, I want to keep it. I'm all around on pretty low health. I have 11. I could increase my max mana once more. Then I would waste one soul stone, though. Having 8 mana is pretty good, though. Actually, I wouldn't waste one soul stone. I get, still get ones from this boss fight. I want to know what that potion does. 
Do you sell an ID scroll? No, you don't. Hmm. We might die to this boss, but let's try. Sacred Karela, okay. This boss is actually vile to my strategy. Leon has a sacred brand. This is something I have to think about a bit. Mm, I need to kill this for sure. I also need a preparation for sure. Sure was a lot of damage. don't need healing. I don't think I can finish this boss. Yeah, Joey will definitely die this turn. Ah, losing to a free one boss is always agonizing. Because there, there's not ever much you can do about it. Heals at all. Yo, there's a jet going on there. It's not a jet, but. No, I just die here. Yep. Sadly, I just die here. That is very unfortunate. I was kind of hoping I would have to fight against another boss, but I am never that lucky. I am absolutely, I'm sadly never that lucky, like, uh, Karela is, there are, there are three bosses for this stage, and for this comp, Karela is the worst one to fight. It's my biggest counter in this composition. I killed him. And now she cannot heal anymore. Yeah, this is over. Sad that we have to fight against our biggest counter every time. Always fighting against the living armor in 1-1. Uh, in one -one. Always fighting against Karela with his comp in, in stage 5. That is incredibly sad. But nothing we can do about it. However, I hope you'll... Uh, tune back in the next time when we are trying again to hopefully for once see the final boss in a video until then I wish you a great I wish you a great day and until next time bye bye